Yo, what is going on Guardians and welcome back to another Destiny gameplay video. Hey, in this video we're going to be talking about the Sunbreaker subclass. All the gameplay in this video was taken using my Sunbreaker and I'm using the Immolation Fist uh, along with my Lord High Fixer. In most of the footage I'm using my Lord High Fixer in my primary slot and um, I know people are going to ask, well, what's the role in the hand cannon? What is the hand cannon? Okay, this is, so this is like I said, Lord High Fixer. And mine has Hot Swap, has Icarus, and it's got a Rifled Barrel along with Sure Shot IS. So that's what's uh, in my primary slot. In the secondary slot, I'm using the Plan C Fusion Rifle, which you guys know I love. You're no stranger to that if you've watched my channel. So that's the loadout. I'm rocking my Sunbreaker, and I'm in this footage using the Fusion Grenades. And, uh, you know, I switch back and forth. I use Fusion Grenades. I also like the Incendiary Grenades uh, for the potential of... Uh, getting multi kills and uh, you know uh, stacking that burn and getting some one hit KOs with the thing from uh, you know a decent range away. So I switch back and forth between those two. I don't know that one's better than the other. It really just depends on your style and what you prefer. Now um, I see a lot of times on the forums people saying Sunbreaker is garbage. It's not a good class. It's not very effective. Uh, the super is really weak. And uh, I'm going to show you a lot of footage here of getting you know several kills with this super and uh, I honestly think and this is not intended to sound vain or anything but if if you think that the Sunbreaker super is weak and you struggle to get kills with it you might be using it wrong so one of the things that I tell people when uh, giving advice on using this super is first and foremost activate it in cover don't activate it out in the open and then once you have it activated don't walk around corners at eye level see I jumped around this corner you want to avoid getting domed, this guy self reses and the hammer shuts him down okay. But uh, yeah, you definitely don't want to make yourself an easy target for snipers because they love shutting you down. So uh, use your titan skating, jump around corners, slide around corners, uh, slide even when you're in the middle of an approach if you're running across an open area. Uh, make sure you're using that vertical space, also use your cover so you don't get domed. I use cauterize, that way um, normally I can regenerate health. Now cauterize sometimes is a bit buggy, sometimes even on the first kill in your super it won't proc, but that doesn't happen very often. For the most part it's pretty reliable and uh, you can regenerate your health after getting a kill so it preps you for the next engagement, but I honestly don't see the Sunbreaker super as being a weak super. I mean there are times where I'll rack up uh, 4 or 5 or even 6 kills with one super activation. and. Um, it's really not that hard to do if you're just mindful of uh, the sort of approaches that are going to leave you exposed and you choose to avoid them. Or you choose to traverse through those openings, those choke points, whatever, in a way that's going to um, you know, limit your potential for getting killed. So yeah, sometimes even when you're doing that stuff you're going to get domed, but at that point it's not because the super is weak, it's because the other guy made a good play instead of uh, you know just blaming it on the subclass itself. But I don't think that the Sunbreaker subclass is weak at all, I think it's a, a great 6v6 subclass. But one of the strengths is the fact that it is a roaming super on your titan. Now that in itself should be a scary thing, because we know that titans have titan skating, which makes their mobility even even greater. In fact, they're some of the fastest characters in the game when you learn how to master that ability. You couple that with a roaming super and you can zoom around the map with your uh, hammers and be a you know, terrifying force to be reckoned with. Another thing is that uh, this super is actually good for shutting down other supers. So here, just to show you, I'm baiting in a sun... or sun... It's not a sun! What is this thing? It's a storm caller! Yeah, that's what it is. Storm trans. I bait him in, activate the super around the corner where his lightning can't hit me and then I challenge him in the choke point and then I proceed to get three more kills on top of that that's four kills in a single super activation and one of them was shutting down a storm trance something that is one of the most menacing supers in the 6v6 playlist so that's definitely a win so and uh, also if you watched my video the other day on the um, uh, the, lo the fun loadout with Universal Remote and the Conviction Sidearm. Uh, the, I think it's the opening clip in that video is like a five kill streak in the open. A lot of people say, well, this this super sucks in the open because you get sniped. Well, it's on Bannerfall, and I got like five kills with the super back to back. And, uh, you know, that's just the nature of it. I think that if you learn to master the mobility and uh, you use your uh, your sort of vertical space and your cover well, and you're sliding, you're jumping, you're trying to juke opponents, keeping an eye on that. Uh, 
uh, keeping an eye on that radar, then you can definitely be a force to be reckoned with. And so I think that this is probably my favorite uh, Titan subclass to play in the 6v6 playlist uh, because of the roaming super. So if people say it's weak, I really, I strongly disagree. And you can hit things from a decent range with these hammers, especially if you've got the, the sort of the targets that alter their path because they seek out opponents. So you just have to chuck it in their general vicinity. So if you get used to the mechanics of these things, you'll do really, really well. Now, uh, time for me to preach a little bit. <laughs> this match here, a full team of six in Rift, and, and I solo queue with a full team of randoms. I honestly felt pretty bad for my teammates. It's sort of the nature of Rift, but uh, I felt bad because they really got farmed in the spawn. So initially in the match, we, uh, we pushed really well and uh, made some plays, but it quickly turned tides and they got all the momentum and completely pinned my teammates back in the spawn. And, uh, you know, I managed to push out around on the flanks and get some kills and actually play well. I had a, I honestly had a pretty good game. Uh, I think it ended up with well over 2.0 KD. But uh, these guys just bagging every kill. And, uh, you know, I, that's why I feel really bad for my teammates. Personally, I was having a decent game, so it's like, ah, it's going to take a lot more than that to get under my skin and make me mad. But they bag every kill. And I just feel so bad because uh, people like this, it's a pub stomp. And they're uh, sort of adding to the, you know, adding to the whole experience by teabagging teammates of mine, and I feel bad for them because they're honestly, they're already not having fun, and uh, I kudos to them for sticking it out and staying. And most, of, I think, almost all of them stayed, but um, I just felt bad that they were getting farmed, and these guys are bagging them in the spawn like it takes skill to to spawn trap with super trains and all that kind of business. But uh, anyways, uh, <laughs> this is my sort of opportunity to preach. Honestly, guys, uh, don't take pups too seriously. And if you're the kind of person, the, the kind of player that in scenarios like this, you're bagging the other teammates as you're steamrolling them, try to be a good sport about it. You're, you're honestly being extremely selfish when you do that. Uh, you're just not thinking about the other gamer. Dude, we're all gamers. Treat other gamers with respect, especially when they haven't done anything. Uh, really to deserve it, but here, here's a score. It just felt really bad for my team. It's just getting farmed. That's not because they were bad. They honestly just got farmed. There's nothing they could do uh, back in the spawn. But I ended with a 2.38, and I get messages like this afterwards. And, uh, you know, another message like this. And uh, <laughs> almost all the entire... They, they sent messages for several minutes, and uh, they all screenshotted. And made sure to send me the screenshot and say, your booty, uh, even though they, though they used the wrong your is sort of embarrassing I think but anyways it's gonna take more than that to get under my skin but honestly I just feel bad for the other gamers they have to be on the receiving end of that so PSA don't be those guys and uh, if you see people like that just report them for um, for being bad sports really honestly as gamers uh, we got to treat each other better than that it's uh, don't put that much stock into pubs especially when you're pub stomping with a full team of six so, and you notice I, this isn't a name and share, I took the names out of those messages so you didn't know who sent them. In fact, uh, one of the guys on that team actually sent me nice messages. I was like, hey, I'm kind of sorry about my teammates, they're kind of being tools. And I'm like, dude, don't worry about it, it's not going to not gonna hurt my night at all. But it honestly just felt bad for my teammates. So, that being said, make sure guys uh, never, if I ever show stuff like that it's it's to teach a lesson yeah i certainly i would actually be highly highly upset if any of you looked at those uh you know go back to the game history look at the gamer tags and then sent them messages that would that i would be highly upset if that was the case so uh, please do not do that at all but anyways just trying to to teach a, a mentality of mutual respect among gamers and i think that that's going to overall increase everyone's experience in the crucible but anyways, that just happened in the middle of me getting footage, so I thought I'd just toss it in there just as a, a means of, of, of preaching a little bit, if I could preach at you guys. Hope you don't mind. But uh, hallelujah. Anyways, that being said, uh, while I was uh, collecting footage, I got an invite from Asteroid, so this, uh, this last game, or last two games here, you're going to see footage from. We're going to be playing with uh, Asteroid and uh, his crew. A lot of really good people. If you don't know who Asteroid is, he's a great guy, great streamer. Um, and uh, kind of represents some of the competitive community. He plays with 13 Devils. 
But uh, we, we just had a good time, went into Clash. And uh, like I said, I'm using these fusion grenades. I just kind of like for the way that I play this subclass. I really, at least when I'm uh, using a fusion rifle or a shotgun, I'm going to use fusion grenades in conjunction with those things because they just they pair so well with it because you can zoom in. You got two guys in front of you. You stick one, turn and engage the other, and uh, you make sure it works at both of them. But uh, if I'm sniping, I'm going to be using the uh, incendiary grenades. I use those since I'm playing a little bit more at a distance. Um, and I can sort of lob them into places where I know there's multiple opponents and that tends to play out pretty well but I'd really be interested I know that there's a lot of diehard sunbreakers out there or just people in general who love playing the subclass I'd love to hear your thoughts what do you think do you think this class is weak um, do you, what would you change if you do what would you change about it I think for me personally the only thing that, that I don't care for is the the melee um, you know, it's really got nothing going for it other than that, that it, it puts a burn on them, which is nice. But, you know, honestly, I think that it's in a pretty good spot. I actually think that the, the devs did a great job of balancing this subclass uh, after uh, all the hate for the Sunbreaker when it was uh, initially released and, uh, and people were getting super salty over the hammers and they did need to be balanced. So, anyways, I think it's in a good spot. That's just my opinion. I hope you enjoyed the, the video, guys. I'll catch you in the Crucible.